Snakes are used in Hinduism as a part of ritual worship. In the annual Nag Panchami festival, participants worship either live cobras or images of Nagas. Lord Shiva is depicted in most images with a snake coiled around his neck. Puranic literature includes various stories associated with snakes. For example Shesha is said to hold all the planets of the universe on his hoods and to constantly sing the glories of Vishnu from all his mouths. Other notable snakes in Hinduism are Vasuki, Takshaka, Kakataka, and Pingala. The term Naga is used to refer to entities that take the form of large snakes in Hinduism and Buddhism. Snakes have been widely revered in many cultures, such as in ancient Greece where the serpent was seen as a healer. Asclepius carried a serpent wound around his wand, a symbol seen today on many ambulances. In Judaism, the snake of brass is also a symbol of healing, of one's life being saved from imminent death. In religious terms, the snake and jaguar were arguably the most important animals in ancient Mesoamerica. In states of ecstasy, lords dance a serpent dance. Great descending snakes adorn and support buildings from Chichen Itza to Tenochtitlan. And the Nahuatl word coat el meaning serpent or twin. Forms part of primary deities such as Mixcoatl, Quetzalcoatl, and Coatlicu. In the Maya and Aztec calendars, the fifth day of the week was known as Snake Day. In some parts of Christianity, the redemptive work of Jesus Christ is compared to saving one's life through beholding the Nehushtan, serpent of brass. Snake handlers use snakes as an integral part of church worship to demonstrate their faith in divine protection. However, more commonly in Christianity, the serpent has been depicted as a representative of evil and sly plotting. As seen in the description in Genesis of a snake tempting Eve in the Garden of Eden. Saint Patrick is purported to have expelled all snakes from Ireland while converting the country to Christianity in the 5th century. Thus explaining the absence of snakes there. In Christianity and Judaism. The snake makes its infamous appearance in the first book of the Bible when a serpent appears before Adam and Eve and tempts them with the forbidden fruit from the tree of knowledge. The snake returns in the book of Exodus when Moses turns his staff into a snake as a sign of God's power, and later when he makes the Nehushtan. A bronze snake on a pole that when looked at cured the people of bites from the snakes that plagued them in the desert. The serpent makes its final appearance symbolizing Satan in the book of Revelation. And he laid hold on the dragon the old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him for a thousand years. In Neo-Paganism and Wicca, the snake is seen as a symbol of wisdom and knowledge. Additionally, snakes are sometimes associated with Hecate, the Greek goddess of witchcraft.